The concept of hijab comes with obligatory conditions which should be followed by Muslim women. The conditions are that the whole body, except for the face and hands, should be covered and by clothing that is loose, not tight, not transparent, and all covering. The dress should not attract attention or accentuate the body, should not be perfumed, and should not resemble clothing worn by men or unbelievers, nor should it be overly elegant or ornate. God has given an exception to this rule to those who are no longer capable of bearing children, who no longer desire marriage or sexual relations, and who cannot excite the passions of men. These ladies do not need to cover themselves to the same degree as other women do. They are allowed to remove their outer garment, known as jilbab in Arabic. The Prophet of God, peace be upon him, praised modest women who guard their chastity and the beauty bestowed upon them by God. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, also cursed those women that display and flaunt their beauty in public, stating that those women will not smell the fragrance of paradise. Our Prophet, peace be upon him, has warned us towards the end of time, women will exist who are dressed yet naked, and turning away from righteousness, will be inclined to do evil, leading others astray, including their husbands. To my dear believing sister, let not the whispers of Satan mislead and misguide you. And let not Satan drag you from your Creator, the All-Merciful, the All-Loving. You need to recognize that you are not in a position to negotiate your faith as to what you should accept and what you should decry. You will need to submit fully and willingly and realize, my dear sister, that you are blessed and honored to be amongst the people of La Ilaha Illallah. Do not procrastinate as your death can occur at any moment, bringing with it an end to the test of your faith. The act of not wearing a hijab or not dressing modestly is a sin, but to justify your actions is much worse. When you are honest with yourself and are willing to admit your transgressions, you gain the chance for repentance, change, and forgiveness. Feeling guilty of a sin is the first step of repentance. Like any other act of worship, the act of dressing modestly and wearing hijab will require faith, sacrifice, discipline, and patience. Dressing modestly strengthens the relationship between you and your Lord. To my dear sister who is struggling through her journey of hijab, strengthen your prayer rituals in connection with God and His book. By supplicating to Him, you allow Him to help you. Pray and strengthen your connection with God, as these acts will help keep you away from sins and unlawful acts, giving you the power you need to resist evil elements. Take the first step now and never give up on your quest for faith. Wear the hijab for the sake of God alone and ignore the outside noise. Ignore people's stares and comments and realize that this journey is worth the struggle. Realize that pleasing people is a goal you can never achieve and that pleasing your Creator is the road to contentment and peace. Our Prophet peace be upon him said, Whoever seeks Allah's pleasure by incurring the wrath of the people, Allah will suffice and protect him from the people. And whoever seeks the people's pleasure by Allah's wrath, Allah will entrust him to the people. Surround yourself with righteous, practicing sisters, realizing that you are too precious to be on display for each man to see. And realize, my dear sister, that you and your believing sisters are the last true representatives of femininity on this earth. Our Prophet narrated, whoever guides another to a good deed will get a reward similar to the one who performs it. So please like, subscribe, and share this video. Assalamu alaikum.